Hey friends, welcome to another Get Ready with MJ. Today we're going to be doing my work makeup. As you can see, I've already curled my hair and pinned it back. So it's now it's time to start getting my face ready. I'm really red today, so we're going to be using a green primer to cancel out the redness on my face. Now, this is a new brand that I picked up. I have not tried it before this cam shoot, and we're going to try it out. So I'm filling in all the areas that I'm having a lot of redness, which is under my nose, around my mouth, and on some spots on my chin. Now, as you can see, as I start to blend this out, it's not blending. All it's doing is cracking and peeling and it's drying so fast that it's completely unworkable. I'm not a fan. We're going to announce Palladio Green Herbal Concealer as a fail. Now we're going to use my Ulta Flawless Prime. I've used this one before. I like how soft and workable it is and it also has a nice poreless finish. I'm going to cover my entire face with it. And now we're going to use my handy dandy Simply Ageless CoverGirl Concealer. I'm going to be dabbing it on my fingertips and then all over my face with tapping motions to really push it into the skin, but I'm going to go back over it with a beauty blender afterwards. I want to make sure I get everything covered because I am going to be customer facing today and this needs to last all day. Now using a tapping motion, I'm going over my entire face, pushing the product into my skin and making sure that I have no lines or blotchy spotches or anything that maybe isn't smooth with the rest of my face. Looks good. Well, looks like we need a little bit more. Like I said, it has to last all day, so I will on work days occasionally wear two layers of foundation as well as powder. I'm gonna use my soft bristled brush to blend all of this into my skin with just a tiny bit of powder on it. Now I'm gonna be using a mixture of heavy day cream and my CoverGirl foundation to put a little bit on my neck and chest area where I'm also a little on the red side and my work polo shirt doesn't cover this. This makes sure that everything looks nice and even and I stay hydrated during the day. I'm gonna blend the two lines together with my stipple brush and move on to my concealer. With my NYX Dark Circle Concealer and a flat foundation brush, I'm gonna get under my eyes and in any areas that has excess redness or dark circles that I need to cover up. I know the color corrector in this is really designed for under eye, but it seems to work really well on the rest of my face. I am a big fan of this. I use it in probably every one of my Get Ready With MJ videos. It just works really well for my skin and my product preference on how I like things to feel and how I need things to sit every day. Now using a fluffy concealer brush, I'm going to go in with my bronzer and get in the hollows of my cheeks. I think I'm using Essence and Sunny right now. A little bit of a shimmer, but mostly matte. It doesn't tend to get shiny or oily during the day. We're getting under the cheeks, into my temples, under my chin, and around my hairline to frame my face. When I go around my hairline, I want to get make sure I'm right in the hairline. And now we're going to use my Geometric Highlighter from New York Color. Or it might be Wet n Wild. I think it's Wet n Wild. And I'm going to go across the top of my cheekbones, a little bit on my T-zone, just to make sure I have nice light refraction today. Using my Makeup Revolution Hot Spice Blush Palette, I'm going to be going in with a medium peach shade, and I'm going to brush from the top of my cheekbone back towards my hairline in one straight line. I'm also then going to go in with a slightly lighter color of peach and hit the tops of the apples of my cheeks. Keeping everything nice and high makes me look awake all day long. We're going to go in and do my brows with my CoverGirl Master Shape and Dark Brunette with the spoolie on the end of it. And I'm going to use this to shape my brows and fill in any patchy areas. This is going to give me a clean professional look for my day job as a salesperson. Now I'm going to be going in after I get everything cleaned up with a stiff short bristled brush and a purple eyeshadow from my Makeup Revolution Mermaids Are Forever. 
This palette doesn't have a lot of color payoff, which makes it really nice for doing my brows to just get a subtle hint of purple into them without being crazy and over the top. I do this so that I have cohesive match between my hair and my eyebrows. I'm gonna take a little bit of makeup setting spray and just tap it onto my brows so that that eyeshadow doesn't have any fallout. Using my Ulta Champagne Colored Eye Primer, I'm gonna put this on my fingers and tap it across my entire lid up to the brow bone, including the inner and outer corners of it. I tap with a little bit of rubbing. I just wanna make sure I don't have any clumpy spots, but I also don't wanna have it smeared all over my face. Now that we have that in there, we're gonna start working with some colors. So the first thing that we're gonna be using is the Paula Dorf. This I think I got in a gift basket at Marshall's. It's neat, um, it's like a cream colored shade. It's got a little bit of a buttercream undertone to it. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and get this all over the top. It's nice to have some of these not so expensive powder shadows just for using for transition shades. Next, we're gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Mermaids Are Forever palette. It's so bright and fun and happy and eye-catching. And I don't know, it's gonna be a surprise today. Let's see what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be using my Scotch tape before I get started to tape off the corners of my eyes to prevent fallout and give me a nice sharp line for the winged liner I'll be doing later. This is also nice when I'm doing cleanup after my shadow. It eliminates the amount of stuff that I'm worried about. I'm using a dark indigo in a triangle shape from the outer corner of my eye inwards on a short, stiff brush. This is gonna be the base for my winged liner later, and I wanna make sure that it's really even on both sides for when I start to blend it. I do wanna make a note before I forget. While Makeup Revolution is a really cost-effective brand, their lipsticks are amazing, their blush is amazing, their eyeshadows don't have a ton of color payoff, so they're super fun, but it is a get-what-you-pay-for situation. You do want to make sure you're loading up your brush when you're using these, and you're using a primer. Without a primer, these shadows just don't show up. I love the range of colors, and I like being able to try out fun colors that are on here, but I do have a problem with the fact that I really have to kind of bang into the palette to get anything to pay off. So you're probably gonna see me go over a couple more layers. I'm getting ready for work. I don't have a lot of time to switch right now, but I do love the colors. You just have to be aware of that. Now using a short fluffy brush that's dome shaped, I'm gonna pick up this gold green color and completely coat my lid. I'm gonna blend this slightly with that indigo color that I used before. This color makes my eyes really, really pop. It looks really nice if you have green eyes. I would imagine it looks really good if you have brown eyes as well. Now we're gonna use a really short brush and this solid glittery black. And we're gonna enhance the outer corners of my eyes just a little bit more with a tapping, swiping motion. Even on both sides, okay. Now with another short fluffy brush, I'm gonna be going into a peach shimmer shadow. And I'm gonna take this and go just underneath my brow bone on both sides, making sure everything's smooth and even. And then I'm gonna hit the inner corners of my eyes. Now using a short stiff brush, I'm gonna pick up this vibrant sparkly red and make sure that I don't have any fallout, but I'm gonna tap it right along my lash line is just a little extra hint of color. This is gonna brighten it up and it also creates a nice contrast between my green eyes and the red shadow. I'm gonna peel off my tape and look how nice and sharp that line is. I am gonna go in and just clean up a little bit of fallout that I had under the eye. And fallout is when you have powder that sticks underneath. Now using my Ico Fat Marker, I'm gonna go in and draw a wing on each eye. It's a fairly heavy but defined wing. This is my go-to work look. Using this purple mauve, 
on a short angled brush, I'm going to go in and line the underside of my lower lash line. A blue shade makes your eyes look whiter. I have a tendency to get some red eye during the day, and this is gonna help make sure that everything stays nice and bright and even. It's also going to create a little extra interest and definition in the colors that I'm using. Now again, with this bluish color, I'm going to get even more underneath my eye to keep them bright and wide and awake looking during the day. This is a little bit easier if you're new to lining water lines and tight lining. Start this way and work your way in. Now using a fluffy wider brush, I'm just going underneath my eyes and making sure that everything's blended and solid. And we're gonna set it all with my Ulta Makeup Setting Spray. Make sure I get my whole eye so that everything that's in there is locked down for the rest of my day. I'm gonna go in with just some standard Revlon eyelash curlers, really curling my top lashes away from my eye so that I don't get anything in my contacts during the workday. Next, I'm gonna be using Maybelline Lash Sensational Push-Up. This has an interesting cupped shape brush that really sticks nicely to the shape of my eye. We are gonna be using lots and lots of mascara today because I really want my eyes to stand out when I'm at work because that way when people are looking at me, they have something beautiful to look at and it keeps their interest on me instead of wavering their attention. I'm gonna be using my Ulta Lip Contour Pencil in the color Bittersweet to line especially the outer corners of my lips, but all the way around leaving the middle of them clear, just the cupid's bow as far as the middle goes. A little bit of blending and using my Ulta Matte Lip Cream in a dark plum shade, I'm gonna go from the outer corners in, leaving the center portion of my lip bare. This is because I'm gonna be doing an ombre lip today. You wanna let this dry and leave in the lip clear so I can go in with my Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in a hot pink color. And I'm gonna to touch that across the center of it and then do a little bit of blending with it. This is a really fun, interesting lip color that still work appropriate for my sales job. I'm glad to say this color lasted all day long. I really didn't have to do any touch-ups except a little bit after lunch. Stilla Stay All Day Lip Color, say that seven times fast, is my favorite long-lasting matte lip cream. Now we're gonna let this lip color dry so that we can set the rest of my makeup. Using a setting spray, we're gonna cover my whole face and then right after, I'm gonna pick up some loose powder in the cap of my powder jar. And using my stippling brush, I'm going to mat everything down on my face in soft circular motions. This is the best thing I have found for keeping my makeup to last all day long. I'm gonna unclip my barrel curls from earlier and finger comb them out after putting on my Rusk High Shine Spray. I had already hairsprayed them once before while they were cooling, but this is gonna make sure that I don't have a whole lot of flyaways on them. Okay, it's time for a little extra interest with some gray silk bows, leaving my heavy bang in the front up. Fantastic. Looks like I'm ready for work. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please link and comment in below if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see me do next. I really appreciate you guys coming by. Thanks so much.